Whoa, hello friends, how's everybody doing today? This is Jeff, playing Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail, the British campaign on hard land and sea, and at times it is very hard. Intelligence is next. And this can be a very tough battle. Um, and that letter that we got last time, and it said something about... You could do, you know, like the C or hit him with a don't expect us. Um, if it applies to this battle, I don't know how to use it. Like, I don't know how to do it because no matter what, no matter which way I answer that question, um, you get the same battle uh, doing, or doing the same objectives. So, I mean, it, it, it doesn't... So no matter which way you answer that question, it doesn't really apply. So I don't know um, if anybody knows uh, about that letter. Could you tell me what battle does it actually refer to? Because it, it doesn't change this battle no matter which way I answer that question. So we will skip and I will tell you what I know about this battle before it begins. A quick overview. The black pool is one of the objectives, okay? You don't see it here, but you will see it in there. But this is one of the objectives. If this ship sinks or gets destroyed, you lose this battle, plain and simple. So what you can immediately do is make sure she's on full sail. Make sure you see the shore. And you can go over here, and you can immediately send her to get out of this battle. So when this 59 minutes comes down, I think she'll already be here and out of the battle. And you would have satisfied this, and you would satisfy this for a draw. So if you don't do anything else in this battle you will at least get a draw if you don't eliminate the fleet. So that being said, that is uh, the very first thing that I can give you as information about this battle. And with her out of the way, you can bring your ships into here. So I'm just gonna tell this ship to kinda Go like that. And this ship kind of... Go like that. I'll have to watch that when they get over there. The Pearl can go over here. And the Andalas can go over here. These are just fire ships for the next phase of this battle. Um, it's, it's the only... If I can execute it, it'll be good because the way the wind goes in this battle, it is very difficult. The, the AI can maneuver so good in it and, and I have trouble maneuvering within it and it just becomes one big spaghetti mess. So anyways, um, so that being said, now let's go over here. Now on the hard campaign, He's a 108, 108, and 110, and he's 138. Now this unit... is 110. Um, so here, so you're gonna shoot at that one, you're gonna shoot at that one. They're gonna get another infantry and two skirmish units. They're gonna have an artillery and a couple of units from here and they're gonna have some from over here and then when the phase changes they're gonna get three infantry three infantry and one artillery so that is just way um, that can be really daunting actually so we're gonna just go ahead and see how long these guys can hold this I don't think we really have to hold it and I think technically I could just probably not even come here, but um, 
Because if they lose this, it's not like really... If you see the only objectives here, you see what the objective is, right? Save Blackpool and that. So, I mean, I don't even think... Um, you know, you have to do this. But I'll participate. You know, and it's just like infantry against infantry until the two skirmishes come up, then they stop picking on the units. And now let me... As soon as this sh ship uh, turns, I'll anchor him. So he's turning. See where his gun is going. Uh, that'll anchor him. Now, if we could just uh, keep this going for a little while. Now, we're going to get that skirmisher right there. Okay, so now if we can get this ship. I'll see if he can anchor there. Or should, should he anchor right there? So that way he's out of this. Then when he gets there, he'll have to drop out these guys. And unfortunately, also there's a skirmisher that came over here. Old. Now what happened?
Okay, now you guys. All right, now this is going to get really ugly quick. I can tell already. Yeah, I mean, these are only three units that are right here. Luckily, uh, they backed off a little bit. And that might allow these guys to get into it, which... I don't know if I could just, like, put them into the woods right here for now. And these guys, surprisingly... I mean, he's dwindled down quite a bit. And I think maybe I should push him out over here. Oh no, they... Oh, okay, wait, they're coming back. Alright, so they're, they're sending more. This is a fresh unit right here. Yeah, that's a fresh unit. They want this. Yeah, see, just when I was going to go on the offense, uh... Hey, there's a gun right here, though. And this one just discovered it. He just got blasted. Oi. Alright. Dang. Alright, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, I gotta get these guys up here because we need to we need to hold this hill. Yeah, I think by these guys uh, hanging on here, it's taking some of the pressure off of my units. Otherwise, their whole their whole force would be attacking me right now. Yeah, that's, that's unbelievable. Like, they, they've done a really good job, I'd have to say. Let's see if we can get that going.
Okay, well, they, they just lost it. I <laughs> just get him out of there. All right, well, we got... This is the only one left of the allies. Oh! You managed to break the siege, but more rebels are on the way. Yeah, so it doesn't even matter, I think. Um. All right, so now... Okay, so this is the phase I was going to mention. That... Okay, now what you see of this force, this is what it was. And now they're going to get three fresh uh, infantry units here and three fresh infantry units right here along with artillery. So this one won't stand a chance once those get deployed right over here. 
So, I mean, maybe I could have him come this way. I don't know. And I'll have him run to see if he can get past this one. Because, you know, the moment these guys land here, they're going to they're gonna just crush this one. Now, you two can go after this one. You're on him. Yeah, I'm trying to think of where I could use this unit, but... We'll just hold these two here for now because we don't know what else is over there. All right, let's see. Yeah, because if they go over here, they're going to get hit by the ships. But they could possibly pile up here and then come up at me on this way. Yes, he, he was trying to keep coming behind him, shooting him in the flank. So I put the artillery on him. And that might just spare Rose's life if Rose can keep moving forward. All right, yep, so, all right, let's pause for a minute. So here they come. Three fresh infantry and an artillery. And I know there's three over here. So they're going to come this way. So this might mean 
It's time to retreat. I mean, yeah, I can stay and fight, but I'm going to lose a lot. And I don't think I want to. So let me see how I want to do this. Well, I'm going to need, I guess, a unit right there. And I want to take the, well, we can fire one round. Let's see. How about shooting at, at that one? More rebels are here. Yeah, see, okay, so, yeah, they just deployed those three infantry units. I'm gonna fire one more round with the artillery and then I'll have to give it up. Oh, he must have already fired. All right, let's just go. have to fight a little bit. Yeah, we just wiped out a skirmish unit. Alright, let me see now.
All right, I think uh, I, got, I think I got everybody that I could. And I think I even saved one little unit from over here. It's the only one that survived. Alright, so now I just gotta figure out who goes on what ship. Alright, I think I had to ship up the 350, so... And I don't remember what I had this one up at, but... You know, I, it's hard to say how much I actually... I know 350 here, but I don't remember. Was there 800 on this one or something? So, I, I mean, I lost quite a bit. And, and, they, and they still got... I mean, look at all these units they still have. And they have an artillery unit. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I'm just going to move these a little bit because, you know, I might as well blast them, right? It'll make up for us, the guys that, <laughs> a lot of the guys that I lost. Just trying to adjust the ship a little bit. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
Yeah, so it's 9.30 in the morning. I'm shooting a um, chain shot at him. Yeah, that's, I don't know. I don't think that's too effective. Oh well. Let's see if we could hit that one. Does canister do anything? Nope. Boats retreating. What? It said uh, boats were retreating. Like, I don't know. I only have four ships. And the enemy hasn't deployed theirs yet because I haven't changed the phase. Um, and um yeah she already left so this is just right what, what i'm doing it right now okay i'll just mention is just fooling around in the game so the thing i'll talk about i guess i could talk about right at this moment while i just mess around is you've seen how this went right i mean now consider if I brought four warships, I would have an extra 400 men maybe? And if I deployed them, well, well not, not total because they always leave some on the ship. So let's say I have about 350 from those two other ships. Add, give 350 to me right here. And that would still be a daunting thing to do. Because it, 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 it would be okay if, it, if they didn't get those reinforcements. But they do get those reinforcements of the six infantry and one artillery. On top of what they already had, which is artillery, a couple of in, here, here. And then the three and the two skirmishers. So, I mean, that's, that's quite a bit. So the point that I would like to make at this point, if you're watching, I mean, you can just fast forward to the end of the battle, get to the end of the battle, or you can see the sea portion of this battle when, once I start that phase, if you want, I mean, but it's 10, it's 10, so I'm going to probably do this till at least 12 o'clock, and the things that I'll say about it is, if you could kind of wipe these guys out, doing it this way, you can then get, you know, land another boat here and go find that artillery and get it and you get an extra two guns. Like the artillery that I got up on the hill here, I claimed it, I used it for a little while, but then I had to abandon it. 
and I'll get those two guns as a reward. But that other artillery I didn't get. Now, now the th the thing that I'm, well, I'm while I'm goofing around in the game, and if you're watching this and you're listening to me, if you are. Um, the thing I'll mention is, I think, like I said, you can fight this battle many ways. Like, I'm wondering if you can even just keep your ships out on the ocean and you don't even have to uh, go on the land. But, but I've, had, I've come here with four ships and I, and I landed all right here and I protected this hill and I killed every, every one of these units. But by the time I got these guys onto the ships and had to fight the other ships that'll come, I didn't have enough and they just wiped me out. So, um, so that tells me that, you know, you don't, and then the flag and the way they tell you to go do all of this, but it seems like you don't even have to, I don't think, right? So yeah, I mean it's it's not, it's not 12 quite yet, but it's not very effective fire. But I don't want to go any closer to the shore. Now let me see if I can. He's closer, so let me see if I can shoot at that one, and maybe I'll get some collateral damage here. Yeah, I did. And this one. See if he aims for that one, if he can get some collateral damage. Any way to just, you know, break these units would be really nice. And the, oh, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention too was like, I'll talk about uh, my favorite game, which is Ultimate General uh, Civil War, right? I don't know if any of you out there played that. But in that game, it has 38 battles for the north and 38 battles for the south, okay? And those are the two campaigns in the uh, game. And they actually have a couple of hard battles in the very beginning, which a lot of people refunded the game, but anyways, because they couldn't get past them. So, so the, you know, I'm just giving you a little bit of history, I guess, but... Um, but one of my biggest gripes in that game, and like I said, you can get the Panda uh, UI uh, mod to that game, and it still keeps it kind of vanilla. And it fixes a lot of the bugs in the game, but um, but it's still a tough game. And, 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 and my biggest complaint of that game was, the moment I was in a battle, and I started to enjoy the battle, it was either over or it switched to the next phase. So when you get going in that game, you can't really do much. Now, with the Panda mod, you can uh, stretch the time out a little bit and stuff like that. So you can make the battles a little bit longer. But this is the most appeal appealing thing that I like about Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail is there's no limit like the day can go tonight night can go today and you can stay in this battle for as long as you want so if you want to milk it you can and so so what I'm doing right here is you can see that it is 1230 in the afternoon and we're we're we're, we're, we're dwindling down so let me let me just Let me, let me have him focus on that one. And I think he's focused on that one. So I'll let him do his thing. Because this is what I also want to point out is that 
to me as a player, this is this is enjoyable right now because I'm not losing anybody and I, and I'm and I'm killing a lot of them. I already lost you know a few hundred already, but um, this is fun now. It's almost gonna be one o'clock in the afternoon. All right, so I'll have both these ships focus on uh, Morgan. Let's see what that does. But as you can see... You know, I've dwindled them quite a bit, but they're all over here hiding. But I know how to get them over here. All I gotta do... Let's go to the Whitby. And that's all I got to do. Yeah, and then I just wiped out that one unit right there. Matter of fact, they got... Look at all the units right here. I'm wondering if... If I shoot in there, I could get some collateral damage. I mean, it's, it's not the best accuracy. Yeah, it's really not. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, it's not really very active. Accurate, I mean. Yeah, imagine all that, man. Just really, man, that is bad. I know they're on a hill and stuff, but yeah, that is pretty bad. Oh, now he's coming closer. So we'll definitely shoot at him. Yeah, he lost a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, 
And now we have two units right here. Oh, there's three units that were right there. <laughs> that was incredible. Yeah, so I was shooting at Morgan and it hit uh, Chambers. So yeah, just, you know, you can, I don't know how long I'm going to do this. I, I was going to only do it to 12. And it's now 1500. But what I guess what I, I could say right now is, like, you could do this until nighttime. Or all the way till the next day, I guess, but I don't know how much real time that would be, but... But anyways, you get the idea, right? I mean... Like, I could even move this ship over here so we could be shooting at these and wiping out these. Yeah, so they have 10 units. And we don't even see the artillery. But technically, uh, I'm just mentioning that I'm going to probably get back, get, I'm probably going to do this for maybe, I don't know. I mean, this, this, by doing this, it just kind of shows you what you can do and stuff. But, and that's the thing I like about this game is that day can turn into night and stuff and you can stay as long as you want and so technically if I wasn't trying to you know show this and make a video of this um, not to do the whole thing but the only thing is I would just I would wipe I would make sure that I wipe all ten, 10 of these units out and then I would get back on the beach here and I would go find that artillery and I would claim it and I'd get two extra guns that I could sell or maybe make a unit someday but so and, and okay, and one just just shattered. So so that and that's what I'm saying. Like that's what I would do. Like I would just keep wiping these guys out. But it's gonna be 1600, which would be four o'clock in the afternoon by military time. And I think I will have to give up on it. So you can get back on the ship. And like I said, uh, what I could do right now, the way this is, he's sitting here, and he's here. So I could take the, I could take somebody off the lifeboat, put him here, 
they would all come after him, get back on the lifeboat, and then, then we could shoot him again. And especially if the, this group came over here, I'd have two ships that can get them and I'd probably destroy some of them. So, and, and that would be a way of doing that. But I realize that I, I am making a video, so I mean, I gotta, I can't just do this all for 10 hours, you know what I'm talking about, so. But it, but I'm not, I'm trying to tell you that it is fun, but with that said, we're going to get it back to normal. Oh, somebody else just shouted. All right, now this this part here is going to be really tricky, and what I mean by that is you see the way the wind is, and what the enemy will do is they will maneuver better in this than what I can maneuver in it. But I know where the wind is this going this way, so it's kind of tough. I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to make a blockade. And if I can execute these two properly, then I will have two big ships to go against their two little ships. But this ship is not the fastest on the ocean, so... Anyways. But, yeah, I don't know if you want to uh, make notes of what I mentioned uh, earlier. But, like I said, um, I just remember, like I said, the... An ultimate general, like I said, I... I didn't like how the f the timing and the phases went and stuff and just when I enjoyed a battle it was over or it just switched. So what I'm talking about this game, the great improvement of this game is you can stay in this battle for as long as you want. Sure you can finish or finish the stage but I think these are in the win and these here we're just going to turn them around that way, and we will uh, finish. Okay. So here's the enemy. And protect the Blackpool. Yeah, well, guess what? Blackpool's already out of the, uh, out of the battle, so <laughs> I don't have to protect it. I do not have to worry about the Blackpool, because I already showed you how to take care of it. Now this is the only tricky part of this battle is can I make these two deliveries? And then I'll only have these two ships. But we're gonna we're gonna give it a try. Just by the way the wind is going. I mean, I'd like to have just burned one of these and try to get the other one, but whenever I lose ships, um, I immediately come back into the battle with fire ships. Because if I'm going to lose a ship anyways, like he sunk my, um, whichever other one I had, not this one, but he, he sunk one of my other ships. And so I, I, so I came back into the battle, making this, um, making this like this. Uh, 
All right, that's the first part. And now this ship And this ship is to do the same thing to this one when it gets close enough. I don't really want to get it caught on fire, but I might have to. Okay, so that does that. Uh, yeah. And I mean, like I said, um, you've seen how the battle is and stuff, so I just, you know, want to just get it done, so. I'm happy that I, I set him on fire. And if this guy ain't careful, I guess he, I guess he won't get on fire. But, alright, alright. Now, I don't think he can make it all the way down here to put my guys on fire, but... And then I got all these guys here. Like, they won't be able to get on a ship, but let me see. Okay, so he can get on. All right, now let's see how this is going to go. Okay, so now we just gotta... That worked out just fine. Alright, so now I'm gonna see if I can get um, this unit here from the fire ship to get on this one. Instead of me dropping somebody out. Yep.
Okay, so now we're gonna get this one rolling. Or sailing, should I say? Oh boy, so I'm going to have to take the Whitby. I mean, this should be... <laughs> I did tell him to anchor. Is he actually going to get away? Just the sheer musket power of 700 ought to get him to surrender, but... It says I can end, but, you know, I didn't eliminate the enemy. I mean, the fleet. I have to eliminate the fleet.
Oh, he gave up. All right, let's drop somebody out of the whip. Eat. And of course, you'd fall off on that side. Oh boy. Oh, my ship's pulling him in. <laughs> now, now that is kind of funny, don't you think? This ship's surrendered already, and, and this one's boarding him, but yet nothing's going on. So I just want this unit to get on this ship. I just want to claim it. Claim the ship. He's right there. Why can't he get it? Come on. Get that ship. Now I could claim it with this one, I think, if I click on it, but I you know okay. Oh, he go you go on that one. Oh boy. What an idiot. Like, why can't, why can't I drop a unit off? Like, now I gotta get somebody else off here. And he comes off over there. Now, come on, get over here and get this ship. My goodness. This is ridiculous. Come on. Yeah, sometimes I lose patience in this, I'll tell you. Why couldn't they get off right over here where it'd make it real easy? Why does he have to get off over here? <laughs> now, do you see this ship? I was not clicking on November. I was clicking on Osprey. Osprey is right here to take. Now take that ship. That's what the other guy should have done. Instead, he goes on this ship. There we go, finally. Alright, so now... So now I have both objectives, so now I can finish and win. Yeah, it says shallow ahead, but... Um, for these little boats, they can do it. I'm just going to have him shoot it here, get a little bit of experience. Yeah, so technically, here's another thing that you could do, I guess, is you could probably... I got... You know, I have like a, maybe a thousand. I could... I could... I could then come over here and land again. Blast them and wipe them out. And then come over here and get that gun, wherever that is. But I will, I will go ahead and I'll finish this. And that's why it'd be nice if we could save in this, because I could I could save that for some other time <laughs> to do that. But as you can see, once you get whatever, 
You can then come back over here and wipe these guys out if you want to, but I'll go ahead and finish. You can all tell me what you think about this battle. Alright, so you can see the results. I had to get out of it at some point, right? I gave out all I gave out a lot of my thoughts about this and this particular battle and the letter that I got before this and all that. So if any of you think you know the answer, just write it in the notes, I guess. But either way, I got I got through this battle. I, I lost two fire ships. And I lost 629 and 326, so about a thousand. So it was kind of tough, you know. That's all I can say. Second Georgia Regiment. So yeah, so the only, like I said, the, the bottom line I could say about all that was, you know, technically you could come back over here and kill all of them and then go get that artillery because when I get over here, well, let me just scan this one more time in case anybody likes to see that. Officers, no report on officers, so nothing really happened. I don't know. And see, yeah, okay. It's 25 men per cannon unit, so therefore um, they had a 50, so that was two. And then, like I said, if I would have went back to get the other one, I'd have four right here. And I got the two 26-gun ships, but I didn't, you know, I sunk those others. Not, not, a, not a lot of weapons. Um, like, we always seem to get this one. Like, each each... Enemy and us have kind of like the same weapons, I guess. So. so they had some of these with the sword. But yeah, that was, uh, okay. So I got to get out of this battle. I mean, the video's long enough, right? So yeah, maybe not my best play, but hey, it was what I had to do. All right, let's see now. The Victoria had some damage, not much. Cause like I said, um, I lost one of these in the battle earlier and that's why I decided to redo this and I made a fire ship. And now I have enough to get this ship here. So, granted I lost two fire ships, but I had enough rep now to get this particular fifth rate ship. And I put a commander on it, put a lieutenant, and a sub-lieutenant. And we have some reserves right here, so I'll go ahead and get him up to... Uh, Optimal for now. I need 280. And I can give him some perks. Alright, and now I got this ship up and running. Ah, uh, the Whitby needed uh, repairs.
Oh, and, and check this out. They, they gave us the Blackpool. So they actually gave us the Blackpool. Wow. Isn't that interesting? Alright, well anyways... That was intelligence. We have a career point. I'm gonna drop it into rep. Uh, I just saved it that way if I decide to do something different I can change it now I only have three rep and I will gain I might get gain some rep but I got 50,000 if I needed to buy a ship I could So yeah, I'll have to get rid of these. And now these ships I'll try to get to Optimo. But let me see how many I need. I need just two. So I need five ships. I think I gotta get those guys up to uh, uh, optimal cruise so that way I can at least decide who I'll put in the battles. Not enough guns. And Whippy, at least I didn't lose any units. And no unit got below of not being a unit, so. And I guess I could put a crew onto Blackpool, right? It says it needs a crew. Oh, I see, because it's at a minimum. Okay, let's go ahead and do this now. So I will put uh, Victoria in along with um, Giovanni. And this one I will put the Mary. And Rita. And why not? Gamma. Hey, and I, and I and I will uh, sell the sell the prisoners for rep. Get six rep. Finally, I could get rid of the prisoners. All right, so we got three rep, and we got twenty-one thousand, and we sunk the ship. Not bad. That's a good result. Five thousand a and three rep, and those got heavy damage. So that's that. Plus 900 extra money for an effect. And the Parliament of Great Britain passes the 
Repeal Act for Secure Independency of Ireland Act, a major component of the reforms collectively known as the Constitution of 1782, which restored legislative uh, independence to the Parliament of Ireland. Now we have to repair our ships. Did we lose any officers or anything? You know what, I'm, I'm going to call this one. How about like... Um, I don't know if I spelled that right. Saint, S-A-I-N-T, maybe? Hmm. Saint Mary, how about that? All right, so the next, the only thing left is objects in motion. Okay, so I have six. I have um, one, two, three, four, five. I have five ships that are warships. No, six with St. Mary over here. So I do have six ships. I have the Blackpool. And I have this one. So I don't know what I want to actually do, so I'll have to figure it out, because I might, just in a, as an option, I might want to, got a 7th rate brig here for 7,000, I have two. So I could buy one and make a fire ship. I could do that right now, actually. Now on fire ships, I'll just put midshipmen. And these guys can have up to 155. Now, they don't have, these are all rookies. They don't have any um, perks or nothing. But anyways, that's something that I can do now. So now, because I, I think I'll put in the six warships, one fire ship, and the Whitby. Because they got some guys here. I just bumped these up a little bit. And I think that's what I'll go in with. So the, the video was long. And I talked a lot about certain things in it. So if you have any comments or any, you know, information or, or stuff that you can give me, that's fine. So wherever you are in the world, I always wish you the best, like good health to you. Um, I want you to have a great day or a great evening or a great morning or a great afternoon. God bless you and your own religion. 
Uh, this is Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos.